those who have served and those currently serving our armed forces are ever mindful that the sweetness of enduring peace has always been tainted by the bitterness of personal sacrifice. Room full of patriots understand what this nation has done for us, the freedoms it's given us, and that the sacrifice it's cost us. One half of one percent of the population of the United States defends the other 99.5 percent of the United States. And those people deserve to live with dignity after they made those kind of sacrifices. Our objective is to raise money so that these warriors can be with their families. That's it and that's all. Tonight we reiterate our support for our most passionate cause, benefiting the severely wounded veterans who have fought to protect our freedoms and make the lives of those veterans just a little bit better. April 10th, I was walking along and I happened to set my back down in the wrong spot and wouldn't you know it, kaboom. And there goes my arms and legs. Uh, so I was laying on the ground and the last thing I did with my left hand, I raided my LT and I said, LT, we're gonna need some help over here. I'm pretty messed up. My medic's working on me. I knew two other guys had got hit and I was yelling at my medic, get away from me, leave me alone. Let me go, save my men, save them. One second, you're whole. The next second, you're half. You look down and parts of your body are everywhere. And when I woke up and I realized finally what my injuries were, the first thing to come to my mind was, oh my goodness, how am I going to take care of my family? And I'll never forget the phone call from Walt. And he said, I need you to donate your airplane to help me to transport wounded vets. I don't think there is anything more fulfilling that you can do with an airplane above and beyond taking a wounded veteran home. This is way more than a ride. Relationships develop from these trips that become lifelong friendships. The problem is when we took our vets home, we weren't really satisfied with what we found. We now have a catastrophically wounded 20 to 30 year old that will go through rehabilitation and has a life expectancy of 30, 40, 50 years. So guess what? We need a place for these guys to live. I could do the, the dad and the husband thing with arms and legs, but now how? How with no arms and legs? I found myself in a bathtub with a shower on. I had fallen. Couldn't get my wheelchair. Couldn't reach it. Couldn't walk. Had no future was more of a burden on my family than anything else and I was I was blubbering like a baby. Love isn't something that you see on television. Love is in the hard times. We care about those who have sacrificed so significantly protecting our freedom and security and we've got the housing foundation that we need, the housing builders that we need and that's where we're going. Uh, next Wednesday, I move into my house, and my wife and I and my daughter move into this house that is adapted for me so I can watch my daughter. I can tuck her in a, at night because she was staying upstairs in a house where I was staying downstairs, and I could not get up there. I can cook in this house. I can, I can clean the house. I can do laundry. I can get back to my everyday life thanks to everybody in this room coming together, uniting, and making this possible. I'll be able to go in the backyard and play with my kids again with dignity because of what you guys are doing tonight. It's imperative that you understand what these men and these women go through. You know, I can't thank the Carrington people enough for all of the effort that they put out to build this beautiful home that Jason now has. It's a place where he can raise his daughters. It's a place that he is comfortable recovering as he is right now. This freedom that we experience in this room tonight, it doesn't come for free. The reason why we experience it is only because men and women go and fight in harm's way and come back home. Sometimes with legs, sometimes with arms, sometimes without it. They've already paid arms and legs for your freedom. It's not a flip joke, it's a very serious statement. They have paid arms and legs for your freedom. Our mission's far from complete. We're not even close. More flights, more homes. Providing mobility and stability.
for our wounded vets is just so fundamental. We can give them lift, we can take them home, we take them home to a house they can be proud of, they can function in, that their families can live in. It's the final stop, but it's the next step in the journey of what happens in their lives. We will never be able to do enough to repay their sacrifices. Help us to give back in the small ways that we can together.